Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. Today we're going to be looking through the top, the top of the top, the realistic human head. This is a human head in section without capillaries, veins, and arteries, and slightly simplified organs of the throat, mucosa, and brain. Uh, oh, wow. The, oh, very, very nice green hair we got here. Very nice spinal column we got here. A very nice face we got here. Now the question we're all asking is, how will, how will the human brain react to a nuclear bomb? As we all ask every morning, every night, we go, Hello, sir. How, how would you react to a nuclear bomb igniting next to your literal face? That's a good question. Nobody ever knows the answer, which is why science must be done to determine the answer. Alright, super critical moment has been achieved! And now, we wait. Uh, so the first thing we're going to notice is that the face of the poor individual does not hold up very well to the nuclear explosion. To be fair, this amount of nuclear material, it's a little bit bigger than his eye, so I'd assume it's like the size of a tennis ball. Um, but we can see that the amount of damage, it, wow, it really just rammed itself into its, its mouth. It's actually kind of following his throat on the way down. It's kind of nice. This is a little bit brutal, I won't lie. Um, uh, fun fact, the brain appears to be rather flammable. <laughs> I don't think it is in real life, so don't worry about that, kids. And um, what we have left is recoverable using my fantastic surgery skills. I'm going to repair and make him good again. Watch this. I am a professional surgeon. Doctors perform miracles every day. And I will show you how it's done. Alright. Very nice. Um, okay, his eyeball caught on fire. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll fix it. Boom. There we go. Um. There. Looking, looking real good. Chuck a new brain in there. Oh, looking fantastic. We've done it. We, uh, we have fixed him. I mean, sure, his spinal fluid is leaking into his throat, but it could be worse. Worse things, worse things have happened. I, possibly? No, that's actually pretty awful. I'm, I'm actually kind of concerned for him. That, that's, oh god, he's choking on his own spinal fluid. This is, this is horrific, honestly. Um, let's at least give his brain some padding. Just, uh, get him some, some cerebrospinal fluid. Very nice. Very good. Very fantastic. It's fine, at some point just everything will be full, and we don't have to worry any longer. Very nice. See, we did it. It would appear that the, uh, the, the ions within the, uh, spinal fluid are just coming out and filling him. Why? I'm not quite sure. I don't really know what's going on, I won't lie, I'm kind of confused. But it's okay, I'm sure everything's fine. Let's try to wake him up. Yep. As you can see, we have some pretty strong brain activity. Um, things are going fantastic. And look! Look, now he's keeping himself awake. We've done it. His face is melting off, though. I, I will I will say I'm slightly concerned by the fact that his face is melting itself off. Um, that's generally not something we like to see as as professional doctors. Um, the whole face melting off thing is a bad side effect. Huh? What is what is going on? Is that shield that's growing? Why is shield growing inside of him? Oh god, he's becoming a cyborg. Nobody could have expected this. The shield is like slowly like infecting his his brain cavity. It's kind of concerning. Slightly concerning. 
very slightly concerning. Well, I mean, looking good, Bob. Very nice. Proud, proud to say that you're doing great. All right, what else do we have? Can do 3.10. Is it is is it a reactor? Is it an air conditioner? Nobody will ever know. I think it's an air conditioner. I suck at air conditioners. Fun fact. Um, I, I the last time I tried to do an air conditioner, it failed horribly. It, I was assuming that the uh, the green would turn it on. Maybe it just takes a little bit to turn on. This has to heat up. Does the deuterium has to heat up first? There's uranium down here, so I'm assuming that's the point. Here, how about I speed up the process by just increasing the uh, pressure of the uranium a bit? There we go. There we go. Really speeding that up. So the deuterium gets sucked into that thing. And then, oh, here we go. It's doing something now. Is it just a uranium reactor? Just using the uranium heat to react? I mean, that's fine. I'm trying to figure out what the actual purpose of this is. Yeah, uranium reactor, not air conditioner. I should have known it wasn't an air conditioner because we don't have refrigerant in it. Neither do we have a compressor or anything. But, you know, this channel isn't like 100% intellectual. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we increase the pressure of the uh, uranium a little bit more, just beyond what it's supposed to be at. Actually, I think something is keeping the pressure down. We can see the pressure right here. Uh, I believe there may be a powered pump somewhere keeping it at its current state. Maybe not. Uh, well, let's go ahead and just see. If I start pumping pressure in, will it be able to deal with it? You can see the pressure is very rapidly rising. It's at three, it's getting to four. The temperature is absolutely skyrocketing and the efficiency of the reactor is actually staying pretty stable. I, it doesn't really make much of a difference. If it's above boiling, it's, it's above boiling. It's going to make steam and the bottleneck is more of the amount of water that can pass through that gate on the lower right there. But the temperature is over one thousand degrees now in the reactor and I have a feeling oh we can actually see at the output the temperature is going up now to 80 to 90 so the thermal energy is having trouble being contained actually the container for the uranium is beginning to melt which is probably not a good sign for the rest of this I do find it interesting they're using deuterium for the inner loop, probably because it doesn't turn into steam, so they don't have to worry. And the fact that when it heats up, it gets larger, which is causing quite the clog, and which is causing the loop to just entirely break down. Now the central area has just broken and it's leaking into the other area, and we have complete breakdown of the entire thing. The only thing that could possibly make this worse is if a stray neutron managed to get into the chamber, and kablooey, it's over. Although the amount of power that's being made is pretty intense. Look at that, we got uh, 600 degrees out there on the output. Very nice, production is fantastic today. <laughs> very good. Uh, very nice. A uh, huge, huge fan. It's been awesome pixel art. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Titan City. Oh no. It's going to be an, an Attack and Titan reference. How great. You know, the thing is, they could have really easily dealt with the Titans if only they had a thermonuclear bomb. As I will very quickly demonstrate, nobody, nobody can hold... <laughs> Nobody can hold up to the thermonuclear bomb, not even the greatest titan. Prepare for absolute, absolute winning. As you can see, no- okay, actually I may have been wrong, Aaron kind of survived this. Ah! Well, we, we learned something new, thermonuclear bombs are not quite enough. 
Not quite enough, folks. Don't worry, I'll just drop some thermite on him. It'll all be over soon. There we go. When the thermonuclear bomb isn't enough, always just add a little bit of thermite and then you can deal with your problems. And as you can see, the entire city was saved. Nobody was harmed in the process. Nobody at all. Nobody at all. Nobody. <laughs> there was nobody there in the first place, so nobody was harmed. Official government accounts show that there was nobody there. Absolutely fit. Cannon versus Meat Boys. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? What are these? These are concerning. Uh... Okay. Wait, is that the orbital? It's the same guy that made the orbital! Yo! <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's go at... Oh, is this similar to the orbital? Oh, I like this guy. He makes good stuff. Alright, L, load shell, F, fire shell, C, clear chamber. Alright, very nice. So we're gonna load. Oh, that's so cool! Fire! Load! Fire! Uh, fire? Look. How many... Oh god. Oh god, what have I done? I've already broke it. I cannot believe this. Okay, load... Fire. Clear. Ah. That's how I messed up. You have to get rid of the casing, of course. Load. Fire. Clear. Load. Fire. Clear. Very nice. I love it when things are actually functional like this. Yeah, that is so neat. Very awesome. Uh, we have murdered this. Um, let's go ahead and copy this one that has a bunch of warning signs on it. I'm sure that it'll be fine. Am I supposed to copy it with the gravity wall? Ah, I'm sure it'll be safe without it. Load. Fuck. Oh! Alrighty. It would appear. It would appear. That that was not safe to do. Crazy. Does this still work? Load? No, it doesn't work. Why would it work? <laughs> what kind of question is that? It clearly would not work. I. These are really creepy looking. It's pretty artistic though. Very nice. Very nice. I have to. I have to start leaving comments behind. That's like the kind thing to do. Very nice. Alright, and which other one? Um... Nuke wins. <laughs> uh... I, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Head is very good. Thank you. <laughs> very good. <laughs> and, uh... Very functional. 10 out of 10. Great, okay. See, I'm I'm paying it forward. I gotta give some 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 feedback, you know. Alright. What about realistic nuclear reactor core with one million views? This is an oldie oldie but goodie. Alright, so we are now in charge. Actually, you know what? We're gonna wait till next time to do this. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Oh boy, I got cut off. But it's okay because I can say it now. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you all next time where we will be playing with nuclear reactors. That's right, I already know what's coming next because I already recorded it. Absolutely fantastic. Who could have expected it? Thank you all for watching. Bye. Damn it. Which one of these stops it? Oh, there it is.